Hi. If you're new to Canada, the question as to whether you purchase a home or rent a home can be challenging. To help us with that and related questions today, I'm joined by realtor Charles Waterman. Welcome, Charles. Hi, how are you? Tell me, when does it make more sense to for a newcomer to purchase versus rent a home? Well, really, I would recommend that if you are moving to a city and you're hoping to spend more than three, five years mm -hmm. in that city, uh, you know, whether it be job related, whether you're being transferred from your job or whether your kids are going to school and you're here for the kids or you're just moving to immigrate to Canada, right. I would definitely recommend purchasing a home. You know, you, you find somewhere that this, this is a nice place, you feel comfortable, establish a good community, that type of thing, right. plant some roots, right. and there's no better feeling than owning a home. Got it. What are the major advantages of buying over renting? Well, Stuart, I think the major advantage really, or the main, for me anyway, mm. would be the pride of ownership. The fact right. that I own my own home, right. you know. And as a, as a new Canadian, you want to have that feeling of, of pride, right. right? The sense of also you're establishing yourself in the community and you, mm -hmm. you know, you know your neighbors. And it's, it's, it's just a, a, a nice feeling of belonging, essentially, right. right? But more importantly, Stuart, is the fact that you're paying down your mortgage mm -hmm. over a period of time and you're creating wealth. You know, you're building equity in your home. And, and long term, that is, a, that is probably one of the best force savings mechanisms there are out there, you right. know. Charles, when would you advise someone to continue renting versus purchasing a home? Well, I'd say if you, if you have a job and it's just for a short period of time, let's mm -hmm. say you're here for a one or two year job contract, mm -hmm. or, or even for example, if you expect that your financial situation might change over a period of time, right. over the next two years or so. What lifestyle changes should a renter expect to make once they become a homeowner? Well, you know, that's, that's got to be the, the, the most challenging part of this transition from, from renting to owning, right. you know, because when you're planning to, to purchase a home, there's a lot of a lot of financial disciplines that need to be put in place. Mm -hmm. You've got to start budgeting for one. Right. And and one thing you really want to do is make sure that you've got an emergency fund. Mm -hmm. You know, because with a home or a condo, you will encounter some problems. Right. right. You will have unexpected issues. For example, a leaky roof or right. a basement flooding mm -hmm. or a pipe bursting or this type of thing. How should a new Canadian prepare for the transition from renting to home ownership? Stuart, I would definitely recommend that they establish credit. Mm -hmm. You know, go to your bank and, uh, and get a credit card, apply for a credit card, right. apply for a loan, small loan, and, and just start paying it regularly. Uh, you know, even a department store credit card. Right. And um, pay on time, pay regularly, and, and uh, but more importantly, you want to start saving for your down payment, right? And believe it or not, with, with as little as, as 5% down, with mortgage insurance, right. you can actually own a home, right? Good. Well, listen, Charles, thank you so much for taking the time with us today. Mm -hmm. I'm sure our viewers will find this information very helpful. And for more tips and information on this topic, browse the resource section on homeownership.ca.